Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the display driver has failed to start error you are experiencing on your Windows device. So I imagine this could definitely be a frustrating issue. And in today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And we are going to start off by opening up the start menu, type in device manager. Best match to come back with device manager listed directly above control panel. So go ahead and just left click on that to open it up. Now you want to expand the display adapter section by double clicking on it and then locating whatever display adapter is listed under here and just right click on it and select update driver. You want to select the search automatically for drivers so go ahead and select that. And it might say the best driver for your device is already installed. Select close and now we're going to go back into it and we're going to select update driver. And if it wasn't able to find anything you want to now select browse my computer for drivers and then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. So go with the one that looks most customized to you. If there's only one go with the only one that's not available. However, you can always do the basic display adapter is okay. I mean, you are welcome to try that one if that's the only one that's available. Most of you guys should have multiple ones listed in here. Just go with the one that looks like it's most compatible with your computer. If it's a basic driver, I probably wouldn't recommend doing it unless that was the only option, of course. So once that's done, close it here. Another thing you can try if you're still having a problem would be to open up the start menu. Type in performance. Best match, or one of the best matches should say adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. We're going to go ahead and open that up. So select adjust for best appearance and then apply and OK. And once that's done, let's just restart your computer and see if that has resolved the problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.